So I'm here on the Rebel Ragnarok. This is the most notorious competition, snow kite competition. It's uh, about 200 riders going around five times, uh, nine kilometers per lap. It's about endurance and it's the most challenging competition out there. I rigged my 13 meter, my biggest kite. I hope it's not gonna be a mistake like two years ago, but uh, hoping for the best, just give it all the power. Yeah, the conditions are way better than expected, actually. We, have, we can actually see all the all the boys from from here and that means it's uh, the visibility is very good and the wind is like 20 knots could be much better for a race actually my job yeah. oh. uh, <laughs> hold this for Remy <laughs> until he starts i'm trying to find the best possible spot here we'll see if this is going to be a good strategy or not Yeah, so there's 240 guys lined up at the starting line and everybody's aiming at the first buoy, but there's like three more to lap. And uh, it's a pretty strategic game how you plan this, you know. I'm not a racer myself, but what I found out is that when you make it to the first buoy, you gotta play it right to the, to the second, you know. You can either go fast, but then you lose a little bit of height. I was behind three guys at uh, round one. Um, I, I was like trying to get as close as possible to them, but couldn't really see any difference before we got to the downhill leg there I can see that I was uh, was uh, using another technique to to uh, get higher speed and that worked out very well and so I passed these three guys at, uh, at the end of the first round. And you have the local girls, it's Melon and Camilla, they ride really well and uh, they just have the local knowledge, I think it's it's like a big part of this here. You cannot be just a great kiter and not have the other the other part, otherwise you just won't make to the end, you know. Okay, so we have just up for Remy Mayhem, just uh, finishing his uh, second laps. He's on the first position actually. He did it around in each lap in 20 minutes. Yeah, Remy, local guy, I think he's uh... He's a good contestant, you know, he's got his mindset right and normally he's a freestyler, but he's got his uh, mind wrapped around the race. Well, yeah, I've been riding a lot of that lead on it before um, and I know the area very well. Exhausting, really exhausting race. I mean, first two laps, it's it's good, but I couldn't do much more than this. I think. Well, good morning. <laughs> yeah, when I got to my third lap, the race was over as I got lapped twice by the local guys, the bastards. They have big advantage because they train all the time. But I had a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, let's see what else we get up to in Norway. The winner, the champion this year, is Rilly!